Hello there, this is Michael Gio, and today I bring you uh, how to grow mushrooms at home. Two years ago, I made a very long video with a lot of techniques and information about to how to grow mushrooms, but I thought it was too long and had just that a lot of information, so it was more like a lecture instead of a YouTube video. So I decided not to upload it. But a few of you that are subscribed to this uh, channel uh, send me uh, emails and messages of you know that you guys want to see how I grow uh, mushrooms at home. So I decided to cut that video and then make a series of three parts uh, so that way you know how I do it and I think if you know the very basic then you can go from there and start developing your own method. Now there is a lot of uh, good uh, YouTube channels with a lot of good information. So my recommendation is just go there, look for information, watch these videos, maybe um, modify it here and there, and then you create your own method that works for you. And obviously the tools and the things that you have at home. Video number two and number three would be different techniques of how to grow mushrooms starting from mycelia up to obtaining and getting those mushrooms. And the third video would be more related to how to grow mushrooms outdoor. So you can see the different type of techniques that I've used uh, growing uh, the um, mushrooms from mycelia or more of a sterile environment. And then on the third video would be more outdoor. So again, you don't necessarily have to apply all this uh, aseptic technique because since it's outdoor, you not, don't necessarily need that sterility part that you would need if you're starting from mycelia. But take a look at this video. Hello there, this is Michael Gio. And today I wanna to talk to you about how to grow mushrooms at home. Um, easy step and how to start that. Um, the first thing that we need to look at is what exactly do you wanna do? It's just growing mushrooms and what's the reason for it? Um, why I'm asking you this because we always have to understand the whys. Um, it is easy, but you need certain tools in order to produce a certain amount of mushrooms. Now, the first thing that you need to, to know is what mushrooms do you want to grow? Now, if you, if you have never done it, um, it's easy to start with, you know, there's certain mushrooms that are easier than others. Like, for example, Pleurotus or in this case, oyster mushrooms. Those are um, very, you know, kind of easy mushrooms to grow at home. Now you can start with, you know, buying a kit and then you buy this kit that comes, um, you know, in, in bags, mycelium compacted in these bags. And then of course, you follow the instructions and in 10 to 14 days, you would have the mushrooms. Now, in that case, you're pretty much not growing anything at home. You're just pretty much buying something and let them to grow. Now, if you really want to culture and grow them at home, you can either start with that, right? Obtain the mycelia from those bags. And then, of course, uh, there are certain things that you need to do in order to produce that. We can have a setup like this where you have buckets and the mushrooms and the mycelia, uh, it's growing inside this bucket and then you have some sort of humidity chamber. From there you can go and take that mycelia and put it outside on mushroom beds. Um, so you spread the mycelia and then you cover that mycelia that you took from those buckets and then just put it on the specific area, cover it with mulch and then in a couple of weeks you can have mushrooms. But when you're trying to grow mushrooms at home, this small setup that I'm showing you here is probably the best and very easy. It's small, and you create a humidity chamber here, and then you can have all your bags with the mycelia, fully colonized bags with the mycelia growing, and then of course you can enjoy the mushrooms. And here you can see this is turkey tail. From here, you can either eat it, um, make teas, prep pills. Um, again, obviously in this case, they're not really edible. I mean, of, of obviously you consume them, but I dehydrate in them. And then after dehydration, I create pills or use it for teas. But obviously you can use and have mushrooms 
and eat mushrooms the way you want it. In this case, these are shiitakes in this small, like I said, humidity chamber. And then obviously you can cut it, enjoy it, fresh mushrooms. But like I said before, it always depends on what you want to do, what type of mushrooms you want to grow. You want to grow it indoors, you want to grow it outdoors, and there's different techniques that you can apply. Also, depending on the technique that you're using, you need more sterility than others. If you're growing mushrooms outside, maybe you don't need that much sterility. If you're growing mushrooms inside, uh, you probably would do more sterility. In this case, you can see these are outdoor mushrooms. These are shiitakes growing in logs. In this case, these are from the those kits, which is a very good um, way to get you started. Okay, another way to do it is to start with the actual mycelia plates. I have some mycelia plates in here. This is actually one of the pleurotus or oyster mushroom you'll see on the screen. Um, so you pretty much need this mycelia. When you have a pure culture, then from those plates, or you know, you can have a, a liquid culture that's being very popular now, um, or you have a slant and a tube with uh, um, a slant agar with the mycelia. So in other words, you need that pure culture, pure mycelia. Then there's two other very important uh, steps. You go and pass that mycelia to grain, all right? And then from that grain, all right, from that grain, when uh, the mycelia colonizes those grains, uh, and then you move to the actual substrate that you want to grow the mushrooms. Now in this case, like I mentioned, the pleurotus or oyster mushrooms would grow very well on straw or hay. Essentially, you would need this three step. Step one, you need a pure mycelium. Step two, grain to create those spawns. And step three, you need the organic substrate. For example, step one, you would need this, pure culture. You can find it as a, a mycelia in a plate, in a slant, or liquid culture. That's very important. After that, then from there, you transfer this to grain. It could be a uh, different type of grain, I like corn. Um, you can use uh, containers like this, or you can use like mason yard, or you can use um, bags. And the third step would be using those same bags that I mentioned, you transfer that to the substrate. And in this case, on your right side, you would see hay. On your left side, you would see hardwood that comes in pellet. Now, it doesn't look like pellets right now because it's already wet, and those pellets will pretty much hydrate and then uh, it turn into this. After a few days, you can see the mycelium colonizing all the substrate in these bags. It would definitely take a couple of weeks for all the mycelia to colonize the whole bag, and after that, it is ready to start growing the mushrooms.